No one does the holidays like the Loud House, and we're celebrating in style. Fashion show! Each Loud is going to design their very own ugly sweater. But how? We've got it covered with the Loud House Ugly Sweater Guy. Let's start with Luna. Here we go. She looks perfect in purple, and so will her sweater. But Luna's sweater can't only look good, it has to sound good. So let's add a musical button that summons carols. No, not that carol. Christmas carols. But this sweater isn't loud enough, so why don't we add some jingle bells? Now we are jingle bell rocking. I'm stuck like Santa in a chimney. Been good all year, so get me, get me, get me, get me. Okay, next. Lori puts the lit in literally everything. I literally do. So let's light her sweater up with this string of lights. Whoa, girl! And we know Lori would have a blue Christmas without Bobby. I art my property! But we've got an all too perfect solution. Let's make this a two person sweater. Aw, they're like two turtle doves. And speaking of, it looks like Bobby made some turtle dove decorations to adorn this sweater. Um, I don't think Bobby knows what turtle doves are. Oh, that's literally the perfect gift. Have we got a plan for Lincoln sweater? Let's do this. Since he's all about sleigh riding, what better way to slay the holidays than with a sled on his sweater? And nothing can come between a boy and his favorite card-wielding, crime-fighting comic book hero, ain't savvy. So let's throw a cape on. It doesn't have to be a cape. You could wear it as a scarf, too. Thanks for the tip, Lenny. Lucy's up, and we know the ugliest sweater in her eyes would be an offensively cheerful sunny yellow. What else should we add? Oh, ghost of Christmas past, reveal to us where the presents are hidden. That's it. These ghosts can't help you find the presents, but they can help make for a petrifying pattern. But hmm, this still doesn't feel festive enough. So Santa hats it is. Goodbye, ghost of Christmas past. Hello, ghost of Christmas, yes. Sigh. And we'd give Edwin a matching sweater, but since he only has half a body, we'll just give him an ugly Santa hat too. Look what you did to Edwin, you monster. Moving on. Okay, what's Lenny's sweater gonna look like? Look, I just made the perfect Christmas outfit. Well, it looks like she already made herself three outfits, so let's mash them all together. Yuck, I know she's the fashion queen, but this is fashion faux positively disgusting. Ew! We are having ourselves a Lenny little Christmas. Moving on to the sister that always leaves us in stitches, Luann. Rosebud! Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> oh man, classic Luann! First off, this sweater's gotta be plaid. But we're still missing some winter wonderland flair. Hey, knowing Luann, she'd be walking in a winter punderland. I'll say, those lyrics make no frankincense. <laughs> It's a ponderful life, and we'll put a holiday spin on her squirting flower with some squirting mistletoe. This sweater is mistletotally festive. I just slay myself. <laughs> slay. <laughs> Up next, Lola. And for her, nothing is uglier than being on the naughty list. See, contrary to popular belief, I am no angel. So if I want to get on Santa's nice list, I have one day to undo 12 months of naughty. We are overloading this sweater with the nicest things possible, like crowns, unicorns, glitter, and figgy pudding? Mm, figgy. Well, we've seen stranger things on sweaters, so we'll let this one slide. Lana's turn. Now this sweater can't only be ugly, it has to be dirty too. <laughs> so mud it is. And Lana doesn't go anywhere without her animals. So let's add some cargo pockets to this pullover. And hey, maybe this will keep snakes out of Lori's room. Ah! Why is a snake in my sock drawer? She needed a warm spot to lay eggs. Lana will be a straight up walking zoo in no time. And our last holiday touch, since Lana loves reindeer so much, let's make it rain deer. Ah, Woohoo! My reindeer net worked! Oh dear, we are dashing our way through this. Time to get schooled with Lisa's ugly sweater. And since she's all about function over fashion, the most practical ugly sweater would have a device to geo-track Santa. Oh, I thought you didn't believe in him. I didn't, until I spied him leaving a present behind the couch last night. Behold! 
And since there's no way to stop Lisa when it comes to a good snowball fight, her sweater should come equipped with a fully loaded snowball launcher. <laughs> this sweater has got to be the best in snow. Lynn's on deck, and since she's a star athlete, we've got to put a star on her sweater. I'm a walking trophy, I'm a beak, I'm a drum. Give me a T R O F Y. I think you spelled that wrong. That's my kind of song. Yeah. Since she loves sports, we'll add soccer balls, baseballs, and footballs. But wait a minute, these aren't holiday enough. Oh, I know, we'll deck those balls. Jingle ballin'. Time to design the tiniest sweater for Lily. Just like her favorite blankie, let's color it lavender. Here you go, sweetie. Still hot from the dryer. Just try not to drool on your sweater too, Lily. What else? Oh, I know. How about Fenton the Fox? Cheer up, baby, don't you cry. No more tears, it's cheer up time. Laugh with me and we will be happy, happy, happy. <laughs> and the last touch, since Lily's favorite dessert is ice cream, let's make this sweater a little sweeter. Lily will be soft-serving Lux this winter. All right, did we miss anyone? Get back here, you animals! These tiny sweaters are literally the perfect size for you! Uh, let's save the pets for next time. We did it! These ugly sweaters sure do put the win in winter. See you next time on The Loud House Guide.